friends welcome back to the channel once again as i mentioned before in my other videos i am going through my cs utilities uh git repository all of these programs are available to you on my github so feel free to use them as necessary uh, i've already gone through the first two i'm just going in order so now i'm on menu builder and this menu builder program i designed to be kind of modular i have a whole separate other video about how to implement it into other programs so if you're curious about it feel free to go through the channel to find that video um, but in this program, the idea was that I got sick of having simple console menus that were like, you know, uh, select one for this menu option, select two for this menu option, select six for exit, whatever. Uh, I wanted to have a more interactive, user-friendly menu. So this was designed to be kind of modular. The menu builder right here, this program, is actually meant to be your regular program, like whatever you're using. And then the menu class is actually what runs the menu. It drives the whole thing for you. So. I'll show you what I mean in just a second, but the idea is that you could take this option right here, this string menu options, fill it with whatever your menu options are, and then they'll appear on screen as a user interactive menu. So let's see what that looks like. Here it is. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit for you. There we go. Uh, so as you can see, I've got this white space here that stays the same width all the way down the menu, no matter where I go. Additionally, uh, the menu will recycle if I press up, here at the top option, it recycles back down to the bottom. And if I press down at the bottom option, it recycles back up to the top. So you can just do this all day long. You may also notice that there's no flicker of the screen. Uh, that's because the menu doesn't actually clear the entire menu to redraw it with the new option highlighted. Uh, this took a little bit of tinkering, but I, uh, if you look through the menu class, you'll see uh, that there is an algorithm that determines where the next option is supposed to be drawn and where the previous option needs to be redrawn without the white space. Uh, and so every time you press either the down or up arrow, it will redraw just those two options. Uh, and this prevents the screen from flickering like some other menu uh, type things does. Uh, and then here, uh, I only have a few of these um, a bit like actually uh, responsive, but if I hit enter on option one, it shows that you selected option one. And if I hit exit, uh, it will exit. And that's it. Um, it's pretty simple. And I'll show you just how simple it is, actually. If I decided that, oh, I want to have another option in here, I can just simply add that other option. We'll put that right here. Here is, oops, that needs to be a string, of course. Here is the new option with an exclamation point because we're excited about it. And one thing is, uh, and this is just something that uh, is probably going to come in a future update, but this was meant to be kind of like quick and dirty. Uh, the exit uh, option has now moved over. It's now shifted down one. So down here, you'll notice the while loop. It says, make this your exit case. Uh, now I need to change this from six to seven because it is now uh, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, technically. Uh, in the list. Even though it is an array, uh, we're looking at number seven is my uh, number here. So if my selection is now not equal to seven, we'll keep looping, otherwise it'll exit. So as you can see here, now if I run this again, the exit will still work. Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind if you drag and drop it in there. I know there's definitely going to be an easier way to do this without having to change this number, uh, but I mean, it, it is what it is for right. Hopefully, if you find this to be useful, maybe you can make that modification, fork it from the, my, GIF, my GitHub, and then let me know that not only was it helpful, but that you made the adjustment, and I'll add it to this and give you credit. So anyways, hopefully that was helpful and fun for you, and I'll see you in the next video.